guys. Tuesday morning here, or I'm sorry, <laughs> it's afternoon, really. Headed to work. There's a spot on the window. The neatest thing happened last night, and of course I didn't have my phone with me. I was taking Sandy outside, and it was dark, and all of a sudden Sandy stops, and her body gets real stiff when she spots something. She just is immovable. Like, I can't move her at all. She's about 60 pounds, give or take, of pure muscle. And when she decides to stop, there's no budging her. So, so we're walking out around the side of the house last night. And all of a sudden, I hear these footsteps crunching in the leaves and Sandy has stopped like just stopped stiff she ain't going nowhere and then two deer a mama and a baby walked well I say a teenager deer <laughs> just casually walked just as just as pretty and nonchalant as you please just walk past us like so up close <laughs> I could have reached out and touched it I didn't I stayed as still and as quiet as Sandy did and they just they didn't pay us any mind I mean the younger one looked our way and stopped for a few minutes and then followed mama on around back and I just thought, you know, and, and Sandy didn't bark. It, she didn't bark. It's like, I don't know, like she knew they didn't pose a threat or anything. And and they knew we didn't pose her any, any threat. And they didn't seem to be threatened by Sandy. And they just walked on by. Just <laughs> real slow, real casual, taking a night stroll or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh. Of course, I didn't have my phone. It was just the most... I think the most majestic thing I have experienced <laughs> as far as the animal kingdom goes it was really neat y'all and I was just in awe of it and you know and then afterwards Sandy loosened up her her tension and she went on and did her business and we went inside but I will never forget that moment it was just amazing You guys see it's getting prettier and prettier out here the colors are incredibly vivid just so beautiful amazing and seeing the deer out here it's a very, very common thing, but having one walk past you like that, it's just, it, it, it's, it's incredible. I just don't even know how to explain that. <laughs> and they are so much bigger when they are that close to you than you think. But I thought it was really cool of my Sandy girl to not. I don't know if she didn't feel threatened, but she did stiffen up, but she didn't bark. She didn't make a sound. She stood still like I was. You know, we didn't want to startle them. We also, you know, didn't want them to feel threatened by us and, and us get attacked by them. You know, you never know with animal, wild animals. So we just stood still and they walked, moseyed on past us. It was just really cool. 